Okay, so on Keith Paul Day, here I am, <laughs> sending a speech that is handwritten as of an hour ago, so ha! <laughs> I'm younger and quicker, what can I say? <laughs> Alright, I'd like to start by saying thank you guys so much for this incredible honor. <clears throat> and it makes me so unbelievably happy to see so many people here to support Rabbi Yessi and Manya, and of course, you know, the six others. <laughs> um, so, again, just to reiterate, my first experience at Chabad was Rosh Hashanah. Um, I was wearing white heels, not a white skirt. I was wearing a purple skirt, a black thingy on it. <clears throat> That's a girl's memory for you, though. <laughs> um, so anyways, it was Rosh Hashanah, like five years ago, and there were uh, about ten people davening in the Lazaroff's personal living room. I don't know if any of you guys have ever opened your home up to community full of strangers, but they sure did. <laughs> <clears throat> And so I would like everybody to take a look around today because we really need to realize that it's each one of you guys who have helped Chabad of A&M grow. It's everybody sitting here today and everything that everyone has done. So I'd like to give everybody a round of applause just for being here. There's a concept in Kabbalah called Tim Tzum which is roughly translated as contraction. So it basically means that in order for Hashem to have created the world, he had to remove himself because Hashem is infinite and we, of course, as humanity and human beings are finite. So he had to remove himself in order to create a space. This empty space is what allowed for the finite creation to occur. This concept of removal is near and dear to the heart of shluchim, such as Rabbi Yassi and Lanya Lazaro. They have to step away from the comforts of a structured community in order to create a new. They leave the comforts of kosher supermarkets and restaurants, friends and family, people of the same likeness of them, <laughs> um, for a greater purpose. And of course, it's not just the couple who gives up everything. I really want you guys to realize that it's um, Menachem and Lazar Label, Musya, Menucha, and Levi, who've really given up a great part of their childhood just for someone like me and for people like you guys to help, to help us um, come to our Judaism, to help us out. I'm successful today because of the dedication shown by the Lazaroffs, and it's for this that I'm very thankful. Very, very thankful. And of course, I cannot leave <laughs> without thanking my parents and grandparents who traveled here with me today to help honor myself and of course the Chabad of Amen. Without your insistence that I actually leave the Chabad house and go and do my homework, I would never be eligible to receive the alumni award. So really guys, thank you. 